breaking. Buhari laments ill treatment of Nigerians and other Africans in Ukraine alleges racism. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. This is coming from a president who is very... Our president is one of the most, you know, he's neutral on, you know, he's not tribal, he's not um, a tribe, he's not a tribalist at all. Well, how do they even say the English? He's not, he's, he does not do tribalism. In fact, he's one of the, you know, most neutral person I've ever seen. He's not a tribalist. He does not do nepotism. In fact, he does not do favoritism. He puts people a position based on merit and merit alone. If you doubt it, check it. I'm speaking in sarcasm. Please don't get offended. You need in detail, please stay with us. President Mohamed Buhari has limited the ill treatment being meted out to Nigeria's nationals and citizens of other African countries in Ukraine amid the ongoing war in the country. Garba Sheh, who is senior special assistant to the president, media and publicity, in a statement on Sunday said, the president understands the pain and fear confronting all people who find themselves in the middle of a crisis. There have been reports along with videos of Nigerians being turned back at Ukraine borders in the attempt to exit the troubled country for neighboring ones. The presidency said it is aware of the situation in the statement. It is... It said, while efforts to begin talks with Russia and Ukraine are underway, paramount in our minds the safety and human rights of some 4,000 Nigerian citizens and many others from friendly African nations today stranded in Ukraine. There was a long history dating back to decades of Nigerians and other African countries and other Africans studying in Ukraine, particularly medicine. The majority of Nigerian citizens in the country today are enrolled are university enrolled students. From video evidence, first-hand reports, and from those in contact with their words and or children or Nigerian Council officials, there have been unfortunate reports of Ukrainian police and security personnel refusing to allow Nigerians to board buses and train heading towards Ukraine polar border. In one video widely circulated on social media, a Nigerian mother with her young baby was filmed being physically forced to give up her seat to another person. There are also separate reports of Polish officials simply refusing Nigerian citizens into, into Nigeria's entry into Poland from Ukraine. One group of Nigerian students, having been repeatedly refused entry into Poland, have concluded they have no choice but to travel again across Ukraine and attempt to exit the country via the border with Hungary. We understand the pain and fear that is confronting all people who find themselves in this terrifying place. We also appreciate that those in official positions in security and border management will, in most cases, be experiencing impossible expectations in a situation they never experienced. But for that reason, it is paramount that everyone is treated with dignity and without favor. All who flee a conflict situation have a right to safe passage under UN convention and color of their passport or their skin should make no difference. As a nation, we are proud of those educated in Kyiv and Kihariv and Kharkiv, and other cities and centers of learning who have returned to Nigeria to perform great service for our nation and our people. With our generosity, the spirit of the Ukrainian people, would that would never have been possible. We pay for those directly affected by this conflict. Nigeria, with our 200 million people, supports all and every diplomatic effort to bring this war to an end. Hmm. This is coming from a president that, you know, He's loving and kind to citizens. Please, I'm speaking with sarcasm today. Yes, it's coming from a man who is not tribalistic at all. He gives out the same measure to the north and to the west and to the east and to the south. He does not discriminate at all. In fact, he has been fighting crime because um, those in the crime, he's not, um, he's not in any way tribalistic. He has been fighting the war, the internal crisis we have in the country with so much. In fact, he's so fierce about it. He's going about it the right way. He has been fighting so much, you know, not caring if these people, whether they are from a particular region, which is, you know, similar to his or from his particular, I mean, from his region. He has been fighting too hard. Is that, isn't it? Okay. So, 
<laughs> so this is what it is. Sincerely, my heart goes out to those citizens in Ukraine. They are going to be, they are going to be, they are going to be threatened to death. Imagine facing racism within the crisis. Like I don't understand. And the thing is, somehow, if you look at it, those people too, they are going to be wanting their citizens out to safety. That is what is ringing in my head. Those people are even saying, but the thing is, they're not doing it against other nation countries. I mean, they are all whites. A Poland person is white, an American is white, people are white, you know, people, people can fit in anywhere. But uh, unlike people who are, you know, who are colored people, they call us people of color. You see how devilish it can be. From what is going on in Nigeria, I hope uh, those in the presidency can judge themselves. You see how irritating uh, racism is to you. That is the same way it is irritating. Tribalism, ethnicism is irritating. The same people who cry racism will come. And they are going to treat others like little just because they come from a region that is not theirs. What am I saying? Is this not 2023 elections? If you're going to be going by fairness, by people of, okay, Nigerians say united, you want, you know, Nigeria is in unity and you want to propagate unity. Are we not supposed to be at least chairing a particular region to come and take presidency? At least chair, chair for them so that, oh, if at the end of the day they still did not, you know, at, at least you chair for them. But what are we saying today? All stories are being told because it is coming from one particular region. Nigerians can now see how it is very brutal. It is devilish. Sincerely. Those people over there to them, they just want to save life. But I'm sure that if you play these videos for them over and over again after the war, they'll be like, oh, okay, was that, was that me? Sincerely, they're going to be ashamed of themselves. In Nigeria, we face worse from our leaders, government officials, politicians, police, etc. So how do you expect Europeans to respect us when even South, South African treat us worse? It all goes down to bad leadership and start taking responsibility. Responsibility and stop blaming people for your own failure. That is it. If Nigerians handle the citizens well, you see all those times that Nigerians, that the president will come out and say Nigerian people are lazy, Nigerian people are this, Nigerian people are that. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you look at it very, very well, eh? if you look at it well, you will see that indeed it is Nigerians that put Nigerians in this mess, our leaders. They don't respect, they don't respect citizens at all. Hopefully, this thing dies now because it's not funny. You see why I'm saying it's not funny? You see why we are supposed to even pray for our people over there? Hopefully this dies down soon. We don't know how. We don't know. But we just hope that it is going to die down soon. Okay, on this note, we come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning into the scene. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.